have with us the beautiful and multi-talented Mrs. Simi Srivastava. Welcome to TNT India. Thank you. So, you have founded Kathashala. Could you please tell our viewers what Kathashala is? Uh, Kathashala is a place all about storytelling. Uh, we work with all age groups and uh, it was basically formed to sensitize people to the benefits and the importance of storytelling, particularly in today's times where uh, we are not very much aware of how we can use it as a parenting tool, as an educational tool, or as a therapy as well. So you started out uh, storytelling with kindergarten students, mostly children. Yes. Does Katha Shala spread through all walks of life? Yes. I, when people ask me, what is your uh, clientele group mm -hmm. for storytelling? I say a child who is in a mother's womb to a person who is 80, 80, 80 years old and on the deathbed. A child who is in her mother's, mother's womb. womb. How, how does that work? See, uh, there's a myth, no, that, uh, which is not actually a myth, it's a reality, that when a mother is expecting, we tell her to read books which have got mm -hmm. good stories because it's going to impact the child. Mm -hmm. Abhimanyu's case. It is a story that he was telling his wife and when she went off to sleep he didn't know uh, how to get out of the chapter view. He knew how to get into it. So we have a practical example of how uh, stories can impact not only an individual but somebody who is inside the womb as well. So um, Kathashala has workshops. Yes. These workshops also go into corporate societies as well as schools. It yes. also helps teachers. Uh, you were telling me about this instance where you went to uh, a jail and you were listening to a prisoner's story. story. So could you tell us more about that? Yes, I mean like uh, that was again another instance where I realized that how in a different way can stories be therapeutic. One was this little girl's case and then there is this convict's case where he narrated his story of how he landed behind the bus and had he not lost that moment of inner peace, he would have been a civil services officer, IAS officer today. So how an inner peace, when it breaks, it kind of leads you to... So the entire story when he was narrating to me, I could see the ease in his body language, in his voice, and how relaxed he felt gradually uh, from the point of time where he started his story. So you hold classes for individuals who would like to learn how to express themselves through storytelling. In fact, Kathashala was started with the idea to uh, sensitize and train adults in the art of storytelling, but what I got was children okay. in response. So I said, okay, let me work with the children so that when they go back home and they tell their parents, no, narrate the story to us the way Simi does. So then they would come to me looking for the art of storytelling. These adults, why why do you think that adults in now in now day and age need to learn the art of storytelling? That we have lost the art of storytelling. Uh, we the society is becoming very compressed. It's becoming very structured. So much so that our uh, communication is also becoming very structured. For example, you say, okay, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. What happened today? Oh, nothing, just worked usually. We've forgotten to ask the person an interesting question so that he can tell us an interesting answer. That is like when we're talking about two adults. When we talk about storytelling as a parenting tool, a parent today is more concerned to work and earn that bit of money for their child, but they don't have time to spend for that child. So, uh, and you, when you ask them, what do you do in the quality time? Oh, for half an hour, I play with my child. But they don't know what to do. So if you know how to narrate stories, or how to create a story, you can not only develop an emotional bond with your child, but also peep into their lives and understand what is happening. Where is the need for you to intervene? Without actually getting into their comfort zone, and without threatening them and without spoiling your relationships with them. So it's a fantastic tool to uh, use, to be used by any parent to understand where the child is and what is he doing 
and yes, we work with schools. We hold sessions with children. We hold uh, teachers training programs. We are into curriculum designing, where in uh, the entire curriculum is based on stories, and followed by it is an extended activity, which talks about the application of whatever has been learned, so that the learning becomes more permanent. Kathashala also helps people in the corporate sector. How does it do this? Uh, we have designed various training programs which will help any um, corporate organization to enhance uh, the managerial skill sets. Uh, we also share their uh, stories which can be actually narrated at the time of induction programs. And uh, well, there are parents who are working in a corporate, so they need to be sensitized of how they can use stories not only for their professional, but for their personal benefits as well. The art of storytelling has been in India for centuries. It is now being revived at Kathashala by Mrs. Simi Srivastava. If you are interested in knowing more about these techniques and skills, please search for Simi Srivastava and Kathashala on the web.